Hi, my name is Maurice Go. I'm technology lead, a part of the Infosys Center of Emerging Technology Solutions. Uh, our specific team located in Palo Alto, California is the X Reality team. So we focus on everything having to do with augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality. There's a lot of hype surrounding virtual reality and augmented reality. People may view it as a fad, but I strongly believe that it'll stick around and it is the future. We equate it similar to the cell phones of the 90s, but rather than it taking 20 years evolving from a large brick phone to a supercomputer smartphone that can fit in your pocket, we believe it'll take less than half that time. Once these devices shrink down to a form factor that's manageable at a price point that's affordable, that'll be adopted by the masses, and it's happening very quickly. We encourage our clients to come visit the Palo Alto office or one of our innovation hubs in Raleigh or Indianapolis, where we can showcase some of these demos on these different devices. It really brings it to life once you try it for yourself and see it with your own eyes. So we try to host these design thinking workshops and whiteboarding sessions and find use cases using these technologies with our clients. One project I'll highlight is the Smart Farming AR app that we created. It uses the Microsoft HoloLens. Hi, welcome to Smart Farming AR you will be presented with a glimpse into the future of agriculture. Here is a real-time digital twin representation of your farm. IoT sensor data is collected and transmitted over the Tetra Mobile Network to provide real-time access to information and data analysis of your land, livestock, crop, logistics, and machinery. Through machine learning and AI, productivity can be increased and costs can be lowered through automation and streamlining operations. Within the comfort of your own home or office, you and your investment stakeholders are given an overview of your assets with the ability to deep dive into the finer details using augmented reality to visualize data. You can access the different dashboards by voice command or selecting with an air tap gesture. So some of the industry market challenges and opportunities existing today. Over the next 40 years, the world population is expected to swell to 9 billion people. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization predicts that in that time, global food production will need to increase by 70% in order to prevent massive famine. Simultaneously, producers must learn to cope with changes in climate, intensification of floods and droughts, depletion of resources, and dramatic political shifts. Meeting the coming demand for food will mean addressing these large challenges head on. I can go a little bit more into the different sensors that are existing out in the market today. Drill and drop soil moisture and salinity sensors are fully encapsulated monitoring probes that provide accurate measurements with applications for leak detection, slope stability, irrigation scheduling, and soil water content profiling. Proper monitoring can reduce water usage by 30 to 50%, save on energy costs, and increase yields. Storage conditions can be monitored remotely. Measuring the temperature inside the commodity helps to store the contents under optimal conditions. Hotspots caused by grain respiration, moisture, insect infestation, or mold can be detected in time, significantly reducing the risk of loss of value or even spoilage. Real-time weather monitoring and forecasting can help predict drought and wildfires and can even issue freeze warnings so you can plan operations in advance. Livestock represents one of the fastest growing segments of the wearable tech market. Through GPS sensor tracking and geofencing, you can monitor vital statistics, pinpoint a stray calf, and even receive notifications to identify and prevent illness early on before it spreads. With the adoption of autonomous ag vehicles, whether it be robotic precision planting, self-driving tractors for irrigation and fertilization, or drones for imaging, farm yields could potentially rise by more than 70% by 2050, while keeping labor costs down. Programmed with predefined flight paths, drones with onboard sensors can capture thousands of top-down images, each tagged with geodata and GPS coordinates. These images can then be stitched to create high-definition maps for field surveys. Drones have a major advantage over satellite imagery in terms of cost. And since typically flown below the cloud layer, it has an unobstructed view at all times and generates images at a much higher resolution. You can find opportunities for better crop management with this bird's eye view. This unique perspective from above 
can reveal patterns derived from irrigation problems, soil variation, as well as pest and fungal infestations. Using near-infrared multispectral imaging captured at set intervals, you can reveal chlorophyll levels over time. Provide accurate crop health assessments with false color mapping. NDVI compares light reflected off of crops in the visual and near-infrared spectra. This provides a better indication of plant health than is visible to the naked eye. Drones equipped with thermal cameras make it easy to get a sense of slope and drainage of a field. High spots are displayed in red and low spots in blue, so you can see where drainage may be an issue in your fields. So again, this is a glimpse into the future of agriculture and smart farming using IoT sensor data and augmented reality to visualize that data. The user can visualize how this technology can aid farmers and agriculture investment stakeholders by giving a first-hand look at a real-time digital twin uh, representation of a sample farm tied to IoT sensors. So whether that be GPS tracked cattle, geofencing, self-driving tractors, remote monitoring, water supply, silo levels, nutrient systems, water, soil, pH sensors, we have this information filtered, organized, and presented as 3D data visualizations, and it can be a shared experience so others can see this as well. We don't expect everybody to have a $3,000 HoloLens device laying at home. The latest version that we're working on actually utilizes Spectator View, which enables multiple users to be able to see the same thing. And this is working cross-platform on iOS devices, so users can bring out their iPhone, iPad for a handheld augmented reality shared experience. Imagine you're in a boardroom meeting setting and you have a shared experience where you can see the same thing. Delve deep on the model level or bring up UI elements or video panels. Just have more information in front of you. In the back end, it can also be integrated into artificial intelligence and machine learning systems to provide insights, automate, and optimize efficient farm management. And this concept of a digital twin isn't just limited to agriculture or smart farming. It can be applied to many different industry verticals where you have to interpret large amounts of complex data. In the latest iteration, we're actually working with an existing farm in Hyderabad, India, and we're able to stream live sensor data from these IoT sensors. And using AWS, we're able to integrate with our client's existing network ecosystem and stream this right into the HoloLens device so you can visualize this data in real time. So in conclusion, X-reality or extended reality, which is all-encompassing of augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, these are all just different means for a user to experience. So rather than limiting yourself with a flat 2D screen that we're all accustomed to, you can take advantage of an expanded canvas that extends in 360 degrees all around you, placing objects, whether it be 3D models, UI panels, video panels, spatially.